K-Drama Magic, Top 10 Must-Watch Picks for Newbies Number 10 Healer Genre Action Thriller Romance Number of Episodes 20 Short Summary, Healer, is a show that blends different types of stories. It's about a skilled guy named Seo Young-hoo, also known as Healer. His life changes when a reporter named Kim Munho asks him to protect a girl named Chai Youngshin. They don't know it yet, but this task will change everything for them. As the story goes on, we find out they're connected to something that happened in 1992. Healer has mystery, crime, action, and romance, so it's a show that lots of people can enjoy. Number 9 Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju Genre Sports Coming of Age Rom-Com, Number of Episodes 16 Short Summary, Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju is a show that's perfect for those who love romantic stories. It's about Kim Bok Ju, played by Lee Sung Young, who's determined to pursue her dream of becoming a weightlifter. She goes to a sports university and faces the challenge of understanding her own feelings and emotions. Despite trying to appear tough, she ends up having a one-sided crush on her childhood friend, Young Jun Hyung's brother. Young Jae, played by Lee Jae Yoon. However, as the story unfolds, these two friends discover that they have feelings for each other. It's a heartwarming romantic comedy that will touch your heart and make you reflect on your own views about love and self-discovery. Number 8 My Girlfriend is a Gumiho. Genres Comedy Romance, Drama, Supernatural. Number of Episodes 16. Short summary This show is a mix of romance and fantasy, made for people who enjoy emotional stories and otherworldly love tales. It's based on the famous myth of the nine-tailed fox and focuses on the growing relationship between two characters, Gu Miho, played by Shin Min A, a nine-tailed fox who wants to become human, and Cha Dae Wung, played by Lee Sung Ji, who initially fears the fox. They eventually fall in love, but their journey is filled with challenges, especially in keeping Gu Miho safe. The ending is really emotional with lots of unexpected twists. Number 7 Taxi Driver Genre Action Crime Black Comedy Revenge Number of Episode 16 Short summary If you're into TV shows about getting back at bad people, then Taxi Driver is a great choice. In this show, there's a secret group known as Rainbow Taxi, and their mission is to help people get revenge on those who've treated them unfairly. They do this because they think the legal system and the police often don't provide justice. Taxi Driver is all about showing how corrupt society can be, and it tells different stories about this. The main character, Kim Do Ji, played by Lee Jae Hoon, is trying to make up for his past. He couldn't get justice for his mother, so now he's taking revenge on the person who killed her. Number 6 Vincenzo Genre Crime Drama, Dark Comedy Number of Episodes 20 Short Summary If you're a fan of Francis Ford Coppola's you might like this show. It's got a mafia and crime theme but with some Italian influence, making it different from typical K-dramas. What sets it apart is that instead of focusing on the mafia boss, it's all about the advisor, kind of like Tom Hagen in The Godfather, played by Robert Duvall. In this show called Vincenzo, the main character is Vincenzo Cassano, also known as Park Ju Hyung, played by Song Jung Ki. He's trying to recover some money while running away from the boss's son, who wants to kill him. Number 5 Reply 1988 Genres, Comedy, Romance, Life, Youth Number of Episodes 20 Short Summary TVN's Reply series is unique because it tells three different stories about groups of friends. It switches between the past and the present to reveal what happens to the friends over time. Among these three series, Reply 1988 is the most popular and highly regarded. It takes us back to the 1980s, mainly following a girl named Sung Diak Sun as she tries to figure out her dreams and deals with her male best friends. One of the big questions in the show is 
who Diak Sun will eventually marry. But the show also explores relatable and timeless themes like money, family, friendship, figuring out who you are, and the pressure of school. Number 4 The Doctors Genres, Romance, Drama, Medical Drama Number of Episodes 20 Short summary for anyone interested in a medical career, we recommend watching The Doctors. While there's a romantic aspect to the story, it's also motivational. The show focuses on two main characters. Yu Hai Young, played by Park Shin Hai, and Hong Ji Hong, played by Kim Rae Won, and how they overcome different challenges to become successful doctors. Yu Hai Young's character is particularly inspiring. She starts as a rebellious student who has trouble trusting people. Thanks to Ji Hong's influence, she becomes a successful neurosurgeon. Even though they briefly part ways due to rumors about their relationship, they eventually cross paths again. Number 3 The Heirs Slash Inheritors Genres, Comedy, Romance, Drama, Melodrama Number of Episodes 20 Short summary You might have heard of the famous Korean actor, Lee Min Ho. He became popular thanks to a show called The Heirs, also known as Inheritors. In this series, Min Ho plays the main character, Kim Tan. The story revolves around a group of really rich high school students dealing with issues like forbidden love, competition, and the pressure of inheriting their family's business. There's also a lot of drama because of rivalries and love triangles. Which keeps you hooked on the show. Number 2 The Glory Genre Revenge Psychological Thriller Number of Episodes 16 Short summary Netflix has a new K-drama called The Glory that's getting a lot of attention. It's based on true stories about bullying and has a great cast. Song Haikyo plays the main character, Moon dong Un, who was horribly bullied in high school by Park Yun jin and her friends. The show is not for people who can't handle intense scenes of bullying. It also shows how the rich can be corrupt and how bullying is a big problem in South Korea. Number 1 Sky Castle Genre Satire Drama Dark Comedy Family Mystery Education Psychological Number of Episodes 20 Short Summary This Korean drama, Sky Castle, talks a lot about life in South Korea. It mainly looks at how rich families act and how they push their kids to do well in school. The moms in this story are really intense about making their kids the best students, and it's both scary and kind of crazy. The show also talks about how rich people can sometimes be greedy and how there's a big gap between rich and poor in South Korea. Plus, the pressure on kids to do well in school is a big deal in Asian society, and this show highlights that. <laughs>